Hi, it's Rob, and I'd like to share with you some ways that you can get more organic, i.e. free, followers, fans, subscribers, customers, etc. And also, towards the end of this pretty short video, I'm going to be giving away a signed copy of Money and a signed copy of Life Leverage for the person who can guess what's behind me. Um, we'll do that in a minute. All right, so the first key to getting followers, fans, subscribers, customers is consistent messaging. Now, I interviewed Yanni, who has the Yanomize business, a car wrapping business. He has a million followers on Instagram and he posts around nine times a day. Uh, and sometimes people give me feedback that I send out quite a lot of emails or I put out a lot of live feed content, a lot of podcast episodes. And that's the main strategy behind me building some momentum to get more reach. 1.15 million subscriptions in 185 plus countries. And I'm not a celebrity of any kind. I'm just a normal chap. Um, you know, I, don't, I didn't have this massive brand before, like some people do. You know, like, so for example, when someone like Russell Brand starts a podcast, of course, he's already got probably quite a few million people across the world that follow him for his comedy. Um, and that's great. And then when he starts a podcast, of course, he has natural trickle-down followers and fans. But you, I... D didn't necessarily and don't have that when we start. So we have to put consistent messaging out there. So let me ask you this. Do you have a podcast? Are you doing live feed videos? Are you putting articles on LinkedIn? Are you regularly posting images that are relevant on Instagram and Pinterest, etc.? So get consistent messaging out there. Now, I have three regrets in life. One of them is I didn't get into property earlier. Another one is that one particular ex-girlfriend, we didn't part ways sooner. And I know that she thinks the same thing. And then the third thing is not starting my podcast, The Disruptive Entrepreneur, sooner. Um, because I probably had a chance maybe two years before um, to start it. But I thought, oh, well, technology. Oh, how do you do it? Oh, do you need a massive studio? Oh, I haven't got enough content or relevant content to share with the world. Which I know some people think is ironic because I put a lot of content out there now. But I had all those fears and phobias that held me back from starting my podcast. But actually, the equipment I use, it's not a massive studio. Um, you really don't need a huge investment. And um, yeah, you know, if I'd have started early, I might have had five or six million subscriptions now. Now, with five or six million subscriptions on current numbers, that would mean that I would be generating about seven to eight million pounds a year just through the podcast. Uh, and that's not even with selling or ads or anything like that. It's just the natural trickle down economics effect that has happened. I have many celebrities that I mentor, celebrities that have found me listening to the podcast, of course, when I launch a new book. My 10th start now, Get Perfect Later, is about 20 pages from being finished. So obviously when I mention that on the podcast, there's thousands of people who will buy that book. You know, probably not all 1.15 million subscriptions will buy the book, but thousands, tens of thousands, who knows, maybe more, will naturally buy the book because they're followers of mine. And, you know, they, that they have opted in, they choose to listen to my work. Uh, and so it is the same for you. So because of that, I'd like to nudge you and encourage you to start both doing live feeds and your podcast. Let's focus on the podcast now. I'll teach you how to do live feed videos and get, get yourself out there um, with you know tens of thousands of followers on Facebook another time. So I'm going to do a one-off. Now this is, it was a one-off when I did it the first time. It's the second time only ever that I've done this. Um, a a one-off online training on how to start and scale your podcast. So firstly, let me give you the link. So the link is bit.ly forward slash pod reg 16. Bit.ly forward slash P-O-D-R-E-G-1-6. I'll type it in the comments below in a moment. Um, before I finish this, remember I'm going to be giving away free signed books if someone can guess what's behind me when I bring it back on the screen. So stay with me. Now, um, on this online training, which will be probably... 8 till about 9.15, and then I'll just do a Q&A for as long as you want, Thursday evening. So it's either tomorrow or today, uh, if you're watching this. Um, I'm going to be sharing... Uh, I've just made a few little notes for you so we can be specific. The best yet surprisingly cheap equipment that you can start that you can use anywhere in the world, um, which is way better than a studio. Uh, nine ways to monetize your podcast without selling or running ads. How to create great content that the world wants, needs, will share. Uh, and, um, you know, how to basically build your following organically. 
I'll do a live no holds barred question and answer session. I'll answer anything that you want me to on starting and scaling your podcast. Never would I have imagined 1.5 million subscriptions across 185 countries would subscribe to me, what I do, my work. I'm, I'm a nobody. I'm not a celebrity. Uh, and it's probably generated nearly £2 million through the trickle-down economics effect, i.e. not selling and not selling ads on the podcast, people just finding my assets underneath, my property business, my personal development business, my speaker courses, you know, my books, all the other things that you can find. You know, the podcast is here and all these sit under here. So it's been an amazing... It was really just a test. It was all accidental. I just put six episodes out there to start because I got advice from some of the, one of the best podcasters in the world to do that. And I'll share that advice with you. Uh, and, and then it just all fell from there, it cascaded from there. Let me see if I can get the analytics up. So what you need to do is go to bit.ly forward slash P-O-D-R-E-G-1-6. So I'm trying to get the analytics up, um, but I've just put lifetime data and it takes a long time to load. And I say this with humility, but that's because there's a lot of data. My um, host, Omni Studio, said that um, so I, I'm about two terabytes worth of data that they have to ho host just for my podcast because I can talk a lot. And apparently I'm their biggest podcast um, host in, in the whole world that they host in terms of number of subscriptions and, num and amount of data. Now, I do two episodes a week. Some people do one episode every two weeks. So all you really need to do in terms of commitment, it's way easier than you think, is 30 minutes content once every one to two weeks. Now, Robin Sharma does eight minute episodes. He does his mastery sessions. So you could do eight minutes once a week. So you're doing eight to 30 minutes of content every one to two weeks. That's all you need to do. I'll teach you how to do it, how to get inspired. I'll teach you how to build a bank of content so that you've got two months in advance. I'll teach you how to find the best guests you can find. I'm interviewing John Barnes on Saturday. I'm going up interviewing John Barnes, my childhood football hero. And then when I finished, um, um, a friend of mine has got me a box um, to watch Liverpool play Southampton. I mean, that, I get to do that for a living. You know, like there are people in the world when you ask them what they do for a living now and they say, I'm a podcaster, mate. Hey, I'm a YouTuber. What, like you do that for a living? That's not just the fun thing you do. You actually earn from, yeah, you get 60 grand a month from podcasting or YouTube. It's a crazy world we live in. You get now to share your message, the message that you love. You get to put your passion and your, um, you know, the, the fun work that you love to do out in, in the world, your art. And then you get loads of people all over the world that listen, subscribe, follow and buy. When I was an artist, I'd have sold way more paintings and made a lot, a lot more money if I'd have had a podcast and, you know, a YouTube channel. But I didn't because it wasn't really big back then. Uh, and, you know, many successful people now, that's how they're monetizing their business and their brand with podcast channels and YouTube channels. So uh, still loading, look, still loading the analytics. So that's uh, bit.ly forward slash P-O-D-R-E-G-1-6. Um, get yourself registered for that. It's tomorrow at 8 till about 9.30 with a live q and I'm going to show you to start, scale, monetize it, get reach, exposure in as many countries that there are in the world. Right, so I said I was going to run a little competition for you. So uh, the first person to post this in the thread below gets a signed copy of Money uh, and a signed copy of Life Leverage. Some of those have gone on eBay for like 50 quid. I wouldn't recommend you do that, but just letting you know. So let's uh, see if we can do it. There you go. So what band is that? First one, get signed copy of money and signed copy of Life Leverage. What band is that? Probably the best live band in the world, even if you're not into filthy. Keep coming, that's not it. Oh, nearly, keep coming. All right. So while that's going, don't forget to register for the online training Thursday at eight. Queen, Queen, Queen in very... Um, so bit.ly forward slash P-O-D-R-E-G-1-6. And Ashton Voron, even though you've spelt it one letter wrong, I'm going to give you some copy of money and Def Leppard. <laughs> uh, Spice Girls, hey Spice Girls, you're the winner. Hey, bit of fun. All right, I'll put the link below. Have a great day and see you on the online training. Steps, yes, Andy, you've got it. Right, so let me put the link in for you. You don't really need a really close up of my face to do this, do you? So the registration link is bit.ly. It's hard to do this live. 
Now, if you've got any questions while I'm on, hit me. Where's the forward slash? Forward slash P O D R E G one six. Let's just decapitalize that so the link will actually work. What are you up to today? Got anything cool planned? Taking over the world? HT, yeah, ah, oh, there's the colon. Right, we're in. There it is. Have a great day and remember, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything. Thanks for tuning in and following my work. I'm very grateful to you. You're awesome.